Hi, Girl Scouts. My name is Molly. I'm the program director at Girl Scouts of Virginia's Skyline Council in Roanoke, Virginia. And today I'm very excited to be covering for you the Ambassador Survival Camper Badge, step number four, which is to learn a new survival camping skill. And today we're gonna to be covering knots, uh, specifically knots you can use to build your own shelter, which I am in right now. Uh, so we are going to get started in just a minute. The things you need if you want to participate today are going to be a tarp of some sort, uh, ropes, hopefully a few types of ropes, maybe some bigger, some smaller, and stakes. And that's about it. So we are going to cover a few knots, cover those skills, and then I'm going to show you how to build your own shelter if you would like. Uh, so follow along. I'm excited. All right, Ambassador Girl Scouts, as you can see, I have built a shelter in my backyard right behind me, and we are gonna go over, um, I'll show you the different knots I use to tie uh, the ropes to make the shelter, and then we'll practice these skills together. So just to get started, I've got my rope here. My tree is gonna be my deck for today because I don't have two good trees in my yard to show you with. Uh, but we've got our first knot here is the bowline knot. You may or may not be familiar with this, but either way, we are going to cover it today and practice it together. So I've got my tree, my rope, my bowline. The next knot I've got right here is called a taut line hitch. It is a way to connect my tarp over on one end to this rope, and it keeps it nice and tight or taut. As you can see, I'm pulling on the, on the rope and it doesn't move. So that means that if my tarp was to get caught by a big gust of wind, this rope in this knot is keeping it nice and tight. The fun thing about this knot is it doesn't move. It keeps it nice and tight unless you want it to move. And the way you do that is you have to grab the knot itself and move it um, by hand. So I'm gonna try to show you real fast. So again, you have to grab the knot and you can move it yourself. You can slide it if you want. See how that gave me a little, little looseness? If I want it tight, I just slide it right back into place and I'm good to go. Now, even if I yank on this, it's not going anywhere because I've already got it tied. And I've got another bowline right there. That's what's connecting, um, connecting my pinkish rope to the tarp on the grommet there. All right, I've got my stakes. And those, oh, I've got a bit of trash. Always want to clean that up. You've got a little bit of P-cord here, and it might be a little messy, so I'm going to pull the extra out of the way. So we've got a another bow line right there connecting this grommet to the uh, yellow P-cord all the way to another bow line. You'll find these are my favorite knot um, to the stake, which is what's keeping it in the ground. All right. So that's three knots we've covered so or two knots we've covered so far the bowline and the um taut line hitch the last one we're going to cover is the um trucker's hitch so we've got a bowline here this is with some spare rope um the bowline is connecting this uh tarp via its grommet but the trucker's hitch is right here it is a con connection of um or a collection of knots used to tighten um, your rope it basically fastens the rope around the tree and you can pull it nice and tight um, which is what's keeping this top part of my shelter together so super cool I haven't quite finished as you can see I've got two corners that have yet to be staked um, but we're going to cover first how to tie these knots um, so you can practice them before building your own shelter so that's next if you want to participate, you're going to want to have some rope you can practice with. I would recommend a couple different kinds. So go ahead and grab your ropes and we'll get started. All right, Girl Scouts. So the first knot I'm going to teach you is the bowline knot. It's a great survival knot to know if you don't already. Um, it's a way to kind of connect things and loop them together. Basically, you're making a loop in the knot um, that stays together really well, but it also it comes apart really easily when you want it to, not on its own, but when you want it to. So if you've ever tied a knot that um, cinched down really tight and you couldn't get it undone, that can be really frustrating, right? Um, the bowline is awesome because it's easy to get out after you're done using it. So you're gonna start with one tail end of the rope and you're gonna pull a little ways so you've got a good amount to work with. And you're gonna take this and make a loop. So not terminology, a loop is just like this where you've got one end laying on top of the other, making a loop. 
This, if I was gonna do it, is just a bite where it makes a bend, but it doesn't lay on top of each other. So we're gonna make a loop, and then we're gonna pull this side of the, the rope. We're gonna work with this and make another loop going through there. It's essentially making what's called a slip knot. And then you've got this end, right? You've got your tail end on this side on the right. You're gonna bring it from behind and pass it through that second loop. And so what we're gonna do then is tighten our knot down. This is the loop we want to keep at the very end when our knot is done. And so we're gonna tighten. It's a little hard to do for the camera, but you're gonna tighten it down and it's gonna kind of flip on its own a little bit, making essentially, whoop, there it is, the bow line. It's kind of distinctive when you see it. You've got one tail end, and you wanna make sure you have a little tail. This is a little longer than you might need, uh, but you wanna make sure that coming out at the end here is at least a couple inches so it doesn't slip through on its own. And then now I've got a loop to work with. So I showed you earlier how I use this for the stakes. If I was gonna stake with this end, I would just stake it down through that loop, right? All right, so that's the bow line. That's a great one to start with. Practice that if you can. The next one, I'm gonna undo it. Like I said, it's easy to undo when you want it to. The next one we're gonna do is the taut line hitch, which is how we get two knots um, tied together. It's also known as the knot of four, and I'll show you why. So we're gonna start actually really high on the rope right here. Um, and then I am gonna take the tail end that was laying at, at the other side. And the way I like to do this one is I like to lay my thumb on the rope, take the tail end, and I'm gonna loop it over my thumb four times. So again, not a fours because it's got four loops. So you're basically wrapping it around your thumb and the rope right there. So I'm gonna lay them so I've got my four in a row and I've got my tail just a little bit. And then I'm gonna take my thumb out at the bottom here and slip the rope in right where my thumb had been. So it comes out at the top and then tighten it down nice and tight. And pull on both ends, make it nice and pretty. And then you've got a beautiful taut line hitch right there. And so remember what I showed you before, how the taut line hitch doesn't um, slip around on its own. So if I pull on it, oh, I pulled the wrong side, sorry. So if I pull on it, it's not slipping. If I want to move it, I grab it and I push it up or down the rope. This works especially well when um, your taut line hitch is on a smaller diameter rope than the other one. Um, it's also pretty easy to undo, which is great. You just push this long end through a little bit and then you can loosen up the whole knot. All right, so that's our taut line hitch. Practice that one as well, good one to know. Remember that's the one that's connecting our tarp um, to our rope. And then the next one I'm gonna show you is the um, trucker's hitch. This one's a little hard to show on a small scale. So I'm gonna show you through the one I did earlier. All right, so to make our trucker's hitch, hopefully you can see this okay. I've got my rope and I went around a tree in my yard. Remember the other line, the other end is attached with a bow line to my deck or tree. Um, so I'm gonna pull this tight. I've got my working end of the rope, which basically just means the end of your rope. I've got that right in one hand, and I'm gonna pull the rest of the rope this way. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a slip knot. Remember, this is kind of the start of the bow line. I make a loop. I'm gonna do it a little further down so you can see. Make a loop, and then pull another loop through there. And then I've got basically a slip knot. I'm gonna take the working end of my rope. Remember, it's going around the tree, back to this slip knot, pull it through all the way until it's kind of tight. And then the reason a trucker is such a so useful is because you can pull it tight so your rope is nice and nice and tight. And I'm gonna come around to this side so I can show you. All right, so I'm just gonna pull it nice and tight and then end, I'm gonna grab it and pinch it here, make a bite in my rope, and then tie some uh, clove hitches 
or sorry, some half hitches, not clove hitches, half hitches to secure it. I want to at least tie two. I usually do three. If you're not familiar with the um, half hitch, you're going to want to take take a minute to learn that one as well. It's pretty simple, but um, certainly one you want to know if you don't already. And then it's nice and uh, tight. It's not as tight as I would recommend it um, for an actual shelter, but since I know that this tree on this end is not super strong, I don't want to push it too hard. So when you're getting it done, you want to make sure your rope is tighter than this. You want it to be like nice and taut. And the good thing about the trucker's hitch is it makes it really easy to get it that tight. All right, so the next part, I'm gonna move the camera, is gonna be securing our tarp, right? So I've already got part of it on there for you, but to get the rest, you're gonna wanna make sure you get your knots exactly how you want them. So just like most skills, you wanna make sure not only that you know how to, how to tie the knots, how to make it happen, you wanna know when and why to use it. Um, so that taut line hitch that we just learned, I've got one tied right here. The other end of my tarp, I'm gonna secure with a bow line real fast. That's done. So now this taut line hitch I can use to tighten my tarp down on this end. And then our last step is going to be using our stakes to stake down the ends, right? Okay, ambassadors, I went ahead and I staked down the last two corners of my shelter so you could see kind of what it looks like. It's a great little uh, little shelter for me. I could sleep underneath it to avoid rain or it's really nice, especially right now, just in my backyard because it's very hot outside today and it's keeping me sheltered from the sun. So um, multi-purpose uh, all day and night, this is going to be useful. So um, step five, we are actually not going to be able to do together because it's to go camping. So that's, you got to do that on your own. So I hope if you followed along, I hope you've enjoyed, I hope you've learned a lot of new skills and I would love to see your camping trip. So please share um, what you what you do and how you use your new skills. Um, thank you for joining along for this badge. It's been really fun for me and I hope you enjoyed. Thank you. Bye.